Hello, City of Montebello. My name is Michael Chi, and I'm the Deputy Director of Public Affairs. My job and my team's job is to share information with you and the general public about the city's operations and services on a daily basis. Today, we have created this video to share with you information about upcoming important changes in the election process for the city of Montebello. This today's video will take us through and explain what these changes are due to and how they will be rolled out in the city of Montebello. So we hope you spend the next few minutes joining us to listen. Assembly Bill 182, otherwise known as the California Voting Rights Act or CVRA as we will refer to it throughout this video, was enacted by the state in 2001 to establish state constitutional guarantees of equal protection and the right to vote. The CVRA prohibits the use of any election system, quote, that impairs the ability of a protected class to elect candidates of its choice or its ability to influence the outcome of an election, end quote. Jurisdictions can be sued if they elect their governing body using an at-large voting system currently used by Montebello from districts or mixed election system. If a court should find against a jurisdiction, the jurisdiction must change its election system and pay the plaintiff's attorneys, experts, and other expenses associated with the legal costs of such a lawsuit. In this case, a jurisdiction is the city of Montebello. A quote, protected class is defined as a class of voters who are members of a specific race, color, or language minority group. To date, no jurisdiction or city has successfully defended itself against a CVRA lawsuit. So what is the California Voting Rights Act? A violation of the CVRA can result if, quote, racially polarized voting occurs in elections for members of the governing body of the political subdivision, which simply means in the case of Montebello, the voters who live here in the city and the governing body being the city council. Racially polarized voting, quote unquote, means voting in which there is a difference in the choice of candidates that are preferred by voters in this protected class and in the choice of candidates that are preferred by voters in the rest of the electorate. State government code number 34886 authorized the adoption of an ordinance establishing district-based elections to comply with the CVRA without being required to submit this ordinance to the voters for approval. We're going to explain what this means. There are currently two forms of elections used. At-large method of election is historically and currently used by the city of Montebello. Defined in the city's election code number 14026 part A as quote, an election in which one in which the voters of an entire jurisdiction, city of Montebello, elect the members of the governing body, the city council. A district-based method of election as defined in election code section 14026B is a method of electing members of the governing body of a political jurisdiction, Montebello being the jurisdiction, in which the candidate must reside or live within an election district and is elected only by the voters who live within that election district. The safe harbor provision. The state elections code was amended to include a safe harbor provision intended to help protect jurisdictions like Montebello from legal costs related to CVRA litigation and lawsuits. This provision gives the city an opportunity to transition into a district election process once a demand letter is received in order to cap its legal fees that may be recoverable by a plaintiff at no more than $30,000 if the city does the following. Adopt a resolution of intention to transition within 45 days of receiving the demand letter, which has happened here in Montebello. And the city conducts at least five public hearings and adopts an ordinance establishing district-based elections within 90 days of adoption of the resolution of intention. This is the process that we're in now. What does it mean to transition to district elections? 
The following table illustrates the steps and general guidelines that are followed in transitioning to district elections. The first step is for city council to adopt a resolution of intention to change to district election process and adopt a tentative schedule. This step takes approximately 45 days within the receipt of a demand letter. Then a series of public hearings are held. Uh, public hearings are held before maps are drawn, no more than 30 days apart. Another public hearing to review the maps or the proposed maps is held to invite public opinion. And then a third public hearing is to look at and review the draft maps that are created. And then a final public hearing that results in the adoption of an ordinance establishing the voting districts and the final district map. And as you can see here, that's normally within 90 days from the adoption of the resolution of intention. And then the by district election process takes place during the next regular election. Where is the city of Montebello in this process? On March 15th of this year, the city received a notice of possible violation of the California Voting Rights Act in a letter from attorney Scott J. Rafferty on behalf of his client, demanding that Montebello transition to district-based elections or face potential legal action. This is the letter of demand referred to earlier. On April 22nd, 2021, Mr. Rafferty agreed to extend the 45-day deadline to adopt a resolution of intention until May 27, 2021. On May 26, prior to this deadline, the City Council adopted a resolution of intention to transition from an at-large to a by-district election process in compliance with the safe harbor provision just reviewed previously. June 23rd, the city attorney conducted a CVRA public orientation meeting during the city council meeting and presented the city council and the residents of Montebello information about the CVRA, explaining why the city has decided to transition to a bi-district elections process and what this process will require. In addition, staff was given direction to retain National Demographics Corporation as its demographic consultant for this transition. What is the role of a demographer? A demographer is a specialized consultant and expert in the California Voting Rights Act that will help Montebello conduct demographic assessments and assist with the transition to district voting based on specific demographic and resident voter makeup of the city of Montebello. This demographer will guide Montebello through the process of creating district maps that meet all legal requirements of the CVRA. In the demographer's role, he will do the following, prepare a detailed project timeline and project outreach plan, provide public mapping tools for residents, assist with the posting of project information on the city's website or create a website to post such information, prepare a report about the city's demographics in compliance with state and federal criteria, will attend and participate in public meetings and present demographic information, will help process all public map submissions and the, map, and the drafting of these maps, and coordinate map implementation with the county registrar's office. Creating a citizen districting commission. Montebello City Council will be evaluating options and alternatives for the possible creation of a citizen's advisory districting commission. This committee will have the opportunity to provide input on the proposed maps and districts that will be created. The selection of this advisory committee is usually appointed by the city council, subject to certain restrictions and requirements. More information will be forthcoming in the future about the creation of this advisory commission and its selection process. So what happens now? The city of Montebello will hold two public hearings before district maps are created in order to receive public comment regarding the creation of the districts and identify the communities of interest within Montebello. Two additional public hearings will be held after maps are drafted to receive additional public input on these draft maps and to introduce a city ordinance to the city council. A final public hearing will be held to adopt this ordinance and the final district maps that are created. 
The city public affairs team will provide public information via video and social media content to inform the public about this entire process, the meeting times, the dates and locations when the mapping process is ready to begin. We thank you for listening to us today and for taking the time to hear this information. We look forward to sharing information with you in the future about how and when this process will take place.